Hi YouTube, this is Joe Kelton with Kelton Cutlery. You can find us on the web, keltoncutlery.com. This morning, I had a catastrophe. It was, it was a real bad thing. I was hand sanding uh, some knives, enjoying my, uh, you know, morning, most of the day coffee, and I spilled it. Spilled coffee all over this whole section of the bench, which at the time had uh, a whole bunch of knives set out, you know, uh, in various stages of, of uh, being done hand sanding and, you know, in different groups and everything. Coffee went all over the place. As if that wasn't bad enough, spilling coffee, you know, which is sacrilege and, uh, uh, you know, not a good thing. It made it onto uh, some of the handles and on a couple of the blades. Um, went all over uh, this one right here, which is a variation of the Carter uh, pattern necker. Um, the variation being a slightly different blade profile and no finger toil here. Um, I just wanted to kind of see how well that would... Uh, uh, how it would look and, and how it would feel because sometimes I find that finger toil a little bit distracting But anyway, so I figured since I had coffee all over a couple of knives anyway a customer um, about six months ago uh, Suggested using coffee as an etchant on on blades and showed me a picture of one that he did and It was a really nice look. It was um, a slightly different color than uh, uh, than like a vinegar etch or a, uh, uh, a ferric etch. And so I'd, I'd kind of been interested to try it for a while, I just hadn't got around to it. So I kind of figured that since, you know, I'd uh, already spilt a cup of coffee on one of them that I'd go ahead and try it out, try it out anyway. Well, not wanting to, you know, waste any more of my beloved Folgers, um, we have one of those uh, Keurig uh, coffee pots, those real fancy co uh, coffee pots that use these real expensive, I think they're like 50 cents a cup, uh, K-cups. You know, I'm more of a, a drip pot kind of guy because I drink coffee all day long, um, and at 50 cents a cup that really adds up, but um, my wife really loves these, and she had this type. I'll show it to you, that way you know which, which one I used. It's a Starbucks Holiday Blend. She likes the, you know, having different flavored type coffees, whereas I'm just a straight up Folgers type of guy. So I went ahead and I brewed a, a fresh cup, and I had uh, the one knife that spilled Folgers on it. Now it also had some sugar in there, so it's a little bit on the sticky side. And then I took another one and just threw it in there um, while the, the cup of coffee was hot. And it really, it started changing, I'd say within 10 to 15 minutes. Now this one has been in there for an hour and 38 minutes and the other one's been in there for 70 minutes. And the etch is, is fairly interesting. Let's see if I can get you here where you don't see the glare so much. I have to turn you away. You know I really love that uh, that new light up there but it is uh, it's really bright for the camera. You can see here, this one didn't have any, I mean, it was hand sanded to a dirty 400 grit finish, but I didn't clean it off, um, you know, go back over and, and make a nice finish before I dunked it into the coffee. But you can see that nice, it's kind of a gunmetal gray sort of finish, or color. And, you know, this, these spots in here where it did etch, and where it didn't etch, those have nothing to do with the hardening line. That was just, you know, my fingerprints wiping the blade off. Um, what I'm doing with these is hand sanding them, and then going to fit the handles up, get the handles ready to install, and then go back, hand sand them, etch them uh, with my mark, and then etch the blade to bring out the hardening line, and then go ahead and put the handles on, because it's, it's a little bit easier to do it that way on these, these uh, etched type blades. But anyway, that gunmetal gray is really a nice, a nice looking color. Um, one of the interesting things about this this coffee etch is that it's a much more subtle etch than, uh, say, ferric or vinegar. And that was the nicest side right there. You can see the biggest difference right there. You know where the line of the coffee was up on the blade. 
and that was again just a spot that didn't get cleaned off well enough that side kind of the same thing up in here I didn't get it clean so it must have had some some of the oil from my fingertip and that retarded the etch well look at there now you can see the the camera lens but anyway um yeah this etch isn't as uh, aggressive as say a ferric or a vinegar type etch it's more um, it takes longer and it doesn't etch as deep um, kind of along the same lines as like lemon juice um, but not quite that subtle of an etch so it's one of those things I'm gonna have to play with a little bit more um, I do like that color it'll be interesting to see if it etches aggressively enough to bring out the hardening line to where it's real nice and bold like I normally like it um, I kinda doubt it will but you know it's uh, just another trick in the black bag if uh, um, you know to bring out a different look and finish and you know it uh, uh, one nice thing that I do like about vinegar um, over the ferric is that you know vinegar isn't uh, it isn't as toxic as the ferric is and so there's no you know I mean if you spill it all over the place you just clean it up and you know that's about it or if uh, you know you spill a you know a half a gallon of it or something you know there's not any real worry about um, you know long-term effects in the shop but anyways um, that was a coffee etch uh, like I said with the Starbucks holiday blend which is a very it's a very strong and kind of acidic type tasting coffee which is why I went ahead and used one of those um, because my wife didn't like it and so we got this whole big box of them and I'm slowly making my way through it you know for like an afternoon type cup of coffee but anyways uh, that is the you know my quick test this morning with the uh, the coffee etch and my results and uh, hope you found it interesting and hope you enjoyed the video we'll see you next time